welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me today okay so for today's video i'm going to use this indigo blue big butterfly i'm just going to use the one stamp and i'm just going to create three cards using this one stamp okay so i've put a piece of paper in and i'm just going to run this through my die cutting machine so i've done that i'm not too sure where this embossing folder is from there's no name on it so i'm sorry about that but any embossing folder will be fine so i've got my piece of card that i've embossed and I'm going to bring in my picked raspberry distress oxiding. I've got a blending tool and I'm just going to go over my embossing. my Faber Castell Pit Artist pen, the white one, and I'm just going to put some little white dots into my background. It's quite a subtle one, this white pen. It's not very bright, to be quite honest with you. So that pen's not as bright as what I thought it was going to be. So I've just got my white spray here. So I'm just going to put some white splatters on. That's a bit better. Much better. Okay, so that bit's dry. I'm just going to pop that to one side for the moment. And I'm going to bring in my stamping platform. I'm just going to turn it round because it's a rubber stamp that I'm using. I've got a piece of card here. And I'm going to use my big butterfly. So I'm going to use these Nouveau hybrid inks i bought these from tonic uh, last week they were on one of the special buys you got five packets with three inks in so i got 15 inks and it was 18 pounds instead of 51 pounds so i was absolutely delighted with that okay so i've picked out the pinky tones i've got sliced strawberry raspberry smoothie panama rose and lotus flower so i'm just going to pick up my stamp and i'm going to start off with my darkest which i think is this one and i'm going to ink over my butterfly so i'm just going to put them in order in case i have to stamp again so i know which ones i've used first and then i'm going to go in with the strawberry just being careful not to contaminate the colours as careful as I can be but I can wipe over them it's fine so I think I've covered the stamp there so let's just press down and see how we get on Yep, so I'm happy with the way that looks. I'm going to use my heat gun and I'm just going to dry off the ink. And now I'm just going to fussy cut around my image. sticking my pink piece down that we inked at the beginning how are we all doing are we all doing okay i hope so i've got a spare hour my hubby's took the girls out on a walk for an hour so make the most of it so i'm just going to stick this down and then i'm going to stick my butterfly i'm just going for clean and simple i'm going to stick my butterfly on the front but before i stick it down I'm just going to ink around the edges of my butterfly. Okay, and I'm going to use some foam pads. To... I won't be posting this one, so 
I don't mind that there's a bit of dimension in so I'm just going to stick my butterfly there and then I want a little sentiment to put on so I've just got my bag of sentiments here let's just have a look what we've got we've got that one on your special day um, what's this one say you don't look a day over fabulous just want to use some of these sentiments if I can I think I'm going to go with that one there. You don't look a day over fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to stick my sentiment down with some foam pads. Okay, so there we go. There's my first card using that stamp. I will use some Nouveau drops at the end, but I'll just leave it till the end and then I don't touch them wet so I'll pop that to one side for the moment and I'll bring in my next card. I'm working with a craft card base this time and I want my vintage photo ink. So I've cut a piece of book text so I'm just going to ink around my edges on here. Just go a little bit in the middle just to it's quite grungy looking this paper it's really old book text that i've i've got so i'm just going to rip a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom just ink over that again second thought then i thought it might look nice torn okay so i'm going to stick this piece down oily here again I'm just going to use my ink and ink over it I'm going to stick this onto the front of my card I don't mind that the glue might come through because it dries clear this uh, what is it cosmic shimmer glue So I'm going to sit that doily down there and then I'm going to use a little bit of this sheet music. Again I'm just going to ink over it and rip it in half. Okay so I'll move that to one side for the moment and I'm going to stamp my butterfly image again and this time I'm going to use my Walnut stain ink. I'm just going to pick up my stamp. I'm just quite a thick rubber stamp, this one. Okay, I'm just going to dry off the ink. I'm going to fussy cut around my butterfly. Butterfly. I'm just going to use my vintage photo to ink around it. I'm going to ink over it actually just to grunge it up a little bit more. That'll do. So I'm going to bring back in my card. I've got this music script here. I'm going to stick this down now. I'm going to stick that piece at the top. I'm going to stick on my butterfly again. I'm going to put it on some foam pads. Okay, 
so I'm going to stick my butterfly in the middle there. It's all on to sentiment. I'm not sure if there's anything in here that will go. We'll have a little look. Let's just get some out. What's that one say? Um, just for you. And that's a bit big. Let me just take some of these out at the side of me. Then I can see what I've got. Um, with love. Tropical. No, we don't want that. I've got that one that says happy birthday. Um, can't decide now whether I want... I think that one, I think I'll go with that one. The just for you. And I'm going to use foam pads again to stick it down. So we'll just stick that up there. There's my second card. Just pop that to one side. Okay, so we'll move on to the last card. To start my third card, I'm going to use some gold embossing powder. So I'm just going to put my embossing buddy over just to get rid of any bits that are on there. Bring back in my stamping platform. So I've got some Aversa mark. I'm going to ink all over and be quite generous because it is a big stamp. It's okay, so let's stamp down. Okay, so I've got my gold embossing powder. I'm going to go all over. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. Let's just pop this back into the tub. Okay, so there's my butterfly embossed. I'm just bringing in my Arteza watercolours. I'm just going to activate them. I'm just going to spray some water. Just want two colours. I'm just going to spray a bit on my... This is watercolour card that I've embossed on too. So I'm just going to use my paint. I'm just going to pick up some colour and I'm just going to watercolour my butterfly. together now. I've got a gold piece here. It's actually just paper this. It's sticky backed paper. I've had in my stash for absolutely ages. So I'm going to sit this down first. And then I've got a piece of pink patterned paper that I'm going to stick down. I'm just going to round two corners on here, top and bottom there. And I'm going to stick this down. Okay, so I've got my gold ink spray. I'm going to put some gold splatters in the background too. So again, I'm going to stick my butterfly on the front. And I'm 
go over that side this time and then I want a little sentiment I think I'm going to stamp a sentiment for this one because I want to use the gold embossing powder so I've got just a little piece of white card here I've chosen this bright row as a stamp set I do like this one and I think I'm going to go with this one again beautiful things take time I like that sentiment oh turn my door around I forgot about that Okay, so pick up my stamp. I'm going to use my first mark again. I've got my embossing powder here. my sentiment embossed I'm just using a pair of these fancy edge scissors just to cut around I've got a little other piece of the gold I'll stick it on there let's put it on some foam pads Sorry if there's a glare off the gold. Let's cut around it. I want my foam pads again. And I'm just going to set my sentiment down there. Okay, so there we go. I've finished that one. I'm going to use my pink and gold Nouveau drops on here. I'm going to put some pink on the butterfly. Okay, so there's that card finished. Okay, so I'm going to use this dirty bronze for this card. This one, I'm going to use my purple and my pink. In fact, I don't think I'm going to use the pink. I'm just going to keep with the purple on this one. Okay, so there we go. There's that one. So I'll just show you again. So that was the first one we'd made. That one there. Then we did this one. And then finally, we did this one. So okay, then guys, so there we go. There's my three cards made using the Indigo Blue Big Butterfly. As always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I'll leave all my details in the description. I'll leave a link to the butterfly stamp if I can find it. If you're not already a subscriber to my channel, I'd love it if you come along and join me. Don't forget to hit the little bell, which will notify you when I've got any new uploads. So until my next video, guys, take care. Bye.